This is how I make my Aris Tour friendship bracelets really strong so they do not break and they last a long time. You want to make sure to buy beads that are separated so it saves you time. Once I know what I wanted to say, I add whatever beads I need to in order to get 30 total beads. I chose blue for the 1989 album, of course. I've seen most bracelets made with this clear string, but it stretches out really easily, so I opted for this super sturdy string that doesn't stretch out. It is brightly colored, but that makes me even happier. Once I'm ready to pop the beads on the string, I make sure that the tape is on one side so I don't lose any of those beads. And since they're already in order, I just pop them on one at a time. And then I make sure it fits me perfectly and then I tie it off like this. You have it the length that you want it to be. Okay, all you're gonna do is just make sure that you have equal sides on each side. And you're gonna wanna twist it around twice. So just like you're regular tying your shoe and then one more time. And you just wanna slowly bring it together so that the beads don't start overlapping each other until you can get these two beads to come together. And you wanna pull it tight enough so that everything comes together but not so tight that it starts bunching like this here. So you just wanna loosen it a little bit. And what that's going to do is give you a really stable base and remember it's going to stretch a little but not too much so once you have that double knot there then what i do is i do a triple knot so again under just like you're tying a regular shoelace so under one two three that's it so it's the same thing three times and it's okay if it gets all knotted like this because you're going to tie it and you're just going to stretch it really 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 tight until this little knot you can see here i want to break it it's just really really tight because the last thing you want to do is have this sucker break. And then what I like to do is just flip it to the other side. And that's why I use this string versus the alternative string that's see-through, which may look better, but in the long run, it doesn't matter how good it looks if it doesn't stay. So then I do another double tie like that, just on the other side, just to make it super secure. And then I just do one more, just one more tie. And this string is so strong. I love it. I've used, I have never had a bracelet break and I've made a hundred of these suckers. So, and I've worn them to a show and around. So really, really tight. And that is it. And then once I'm done with that piece there, so it's, you can see how much tightness I'm doing here. If I were to do that with this string, it would just stretch out completely and start to fray and break. So that's why I love this string. And then I'm just going to cut it really close here, as you can see, which is a pair of scissors. And then the reason why I like using these beads is you can hide that little piece in there and it's just hidden inside and it's done. And that is your bracelet. You are in love. Everybody going to the show, have the absolute best time.